Now, why is this not an ordinary tomato soup? Well, uh, it's not ordinary for a number of reasons. First, we're going to use a canned sauce tomato, the plum tomatoes. They're ripe, they're the, meaty, the you can San see Marzano's. them. San Marzano's? San Marzano's are great. One trick I learned from a, a wonderful Italian cookbook was really pulling out that pithy center, which um, is tough and, and eliminates watery, some of the cr yes, right. water. In this way, we just lay it down and we roast these to even dehydrate oh, them more. Okay. So all of these, and what do you do with that juice that comes? Save that juice for the soup. It's such a simple oh, soup. Oh, I thought you were going to say save it for the Bloody Marys. Well, we, <laughs> <laughs> we do that as well. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, it becomes a real evaluation okay. of the tomato makes a great soup. Okay, so we're, that's good. So these get dried in the oven? Just dry them in the By oven. By themselves or with some olive oil? A little olive oil and salt, okay. and then we throw them in at 350 for about 10 minutes. You can go really hard on it and add a lot of caramelization to tomato soup. Mm. We just want to pull the moisture oh, out. Oh, fleur de sel. Fleur de sel is the best. The... You know what I like to do? I like to roast these and just eat them on toast. I love what? tomatoes like that. Oh, so I know. good. Okay, They're so, so that goes in the oven. So right into the oven, and then it's all about now starting to sweat the vegetables to create that flavor base. We have our onions right here. We have our butter, which is melted, our homemade butter, which is wonderful. Vidalia onions are in season right now. And we just lay those in, and this is a crucial step that a lot of people, I think, forget, which is really break those tomatoes down. That's it, yeah, you have it. Yeah, there we go. So that it's not about 10 minutes. It's about sweating and letting this onion become a new thing. And a lot of the flavor is going to happen right here. Right. Uh, and so you see the dehydrated tomatoes. Yeah. Once this goes down, we're going to throw in a little fresh bay leaf. And look how bright and green fresh that is. Fresh thyme. Fresh thyme, a little smashed garlic. Mm because we want that to get flavored in there. And so this is the base of a marinara. This is the base of tomato soup. Right, so cook this and cook this. Yes, yeah, cook and cook yes. until we're ready to go. That's how she was hot. All right, there. thank you. And so you see it's all nice and melted. Yes, indeed. And then we're gonna just go in with our tomatoes if you wanna slide a hold of these. Okay. Good to have a partner in the kitchen. Mm. <laughs> so beautiful. So right. how many seats does your restaurant have? 55. So, oh, so uh, it's pretty a good, intimate. Nice size, though. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's dinner only seven nights So who's a cooking week. tonight? Uh, I've got a great You're team. You're here. <laughs> well, you know everything's about team in our oh, business. Do you want all that oil, too? You, might you as bet. Well. All that flavor. All tomato-infused oil. Rubber spatulas are essential. Yes, they are. And then um, we let that stew around. Then we're going to pour the tomato juice in. And we're going to touch it. Is this from one can? That's from, uh, I think we're two cans. Oh, okay. A little cayenne pepper in there. We're gonna put a pinch more of Florida Cell. I like cooking with Florida Cell because it's not high in salinity. I think there's a lot of umami in there. It's just a great sea Isn't minerality. It beautiful? So good. Oh, and tomatoes in Florida Cell is one mm, of these. It already looks good. And then uh, Oh, do you add the I have chicken stock or water or a little extra tomato juice on the side to evaluate the consistency. Okay. A lot is about how much are you gonna reduce the soup. Okay. I have the food mill because I like that coarser structure and I don't want to whip a lot of air in there. And so we're gonna bring that down until we get our soup. It's a little, little splatter. Let's say it's uh, already. That you was just my take favorite that. job in the kitchen was putting all the tomatoes through the food mill. We had that great big one. Oh, the, yeah, the big yeah. ones are nice. It's just different than just going straight to a blender. It's, it's calmer. So you have a gastro tub also, so. Yeah, Holman & Finch is really a celebration of whole meat cookery uh, till two in the morning. I, I think that uh, eating carbonara after midnight makes your life better, in a way. <laughs> yes. So uh, thank you. And uh, so we just keep bringing that in. So we get all those juices and all, all right. that pulp off of there. And you don't want to waste any of it. Oh, no, here. look at that. And always Thank scrape you. the bottom of your food mill. You Everybody, bet. yes. That's probably the best part right there. Yes, it's so good. And then we really have our soup, which is just... Uh, I see cream here. Are you going to add cream to it or yeah. not? We're going to add a little cream, and so you have this nice sauce. Now, is this from the same cows? Yeah, it is. It's all Johnson How family. How much? The whole thing? Or? Um, I think that's good that's right good. there. Okay. And so there's our soup right there. Delicious. I know, it's so simple. Yeah. I'll taste a little bit of that soup. Mmm, oh, very good.